Hello viewers, today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 10, South America. We all know that South America is the fourth largest continent. The greater part of this continent lies in the southern hemisphere, but it is not entirely in it as some parts of it lie north of the equator. Right. Physical features of South America. South America can be divided into four main physical divisions. Look at the map. This is the physical map of South America. The first division is the West Coastal Plains. Look at the western part. This is a very narrow plain lying between the Andes. Means and this mountain and the Pacific Ocean in the western part of the continent, right? The hot Atacama Desert lies in this coastal region across the Tropic of Capricorn in North Chile. Come to the next division, the Andes Mountains. The Andes Mountains are a long stretch of high young fold mountains that run parallel to the Pacific coast in the western part of South America. Right? They are not one mountain range but several parallel ranges with basins and plateaus between them. There are a number of lofty peaks in the Andes, the highest peak being Mount Aconcagua. Okay. Some high peaks remain snow covered despite being near the equator because of the great height. There are a number of active volcanoes as well as some dormant and extinct volcanoes. Okay. Come to the next division, the central plain. The flat plains are formed by the rivers Amazon, Orinoco, Paraguay, Uruguay, etc. The Orinoco Plains are referred to as the Llanos. South of the Llanos, the Amazon lowlands are called the Selvas. It is a region of dense equatorial forest. Okay. Last division is the Eastern Highlands. The Guiana Highlands and the Brazilian Highlands form the Eastern Highlands. These two highlands are separated by the Amazon River. Right? These highlands extend in the eastern part of the continent along the Atlantic coast. Okay. They are much lower in height as compared to the Andes. Eastern highlands are composed of old hard rocks. 